That's right, fan favorite and Red Sox hero Andrew Benintendi back for the first time since being traded away. The first time it was to the Kansas City Royals, but because of a rib injury and having to rehab in Kansas City, he wasn't able to make it back for a would-be reunion. Now he's back with the New York Yankees. It's the Red Sox starting pitcher, Nathan Ebaldi. 5 and 3, 423, has a history of pitching quite well against the Yankees. And that'll bring up Aaron Judge. Just missed. Devaldi wanted that, didn't get it. So Judge with a walk with one out. Rizzo's at 224, 27 homers, 66 RBIs. Drilled right down the right field line. That ball is going to be one hop up against the short right field wall. Judge is rounding third. He's coming home. He will score. It's an RBI double for Rizzo. And the Yankees jump out to a one nothing lead. Yeah, the importance of Anthony Rizzo back in the lineup to protect that guy right there. It, it, it's unbelievably huge for the Yankees. I mean, this is one you'd like to put a stop to quickly. They get rolling. They can put five or six on you in a hurry. Torres 252, pretty good power. He's the DH tonight. Devers backing up for the hop, slings it into second one on the first two. Baldy gets out of the inning without any more damage, gives up just the one, and the Red Sox are coming up. Well, Aaron Boone said the final two innings in St. Louis look like vintage Hermann, as good as he looked. He'll deal one two to Fan. Uh, Brayton ball cut on him, missed, struck him out swinging. Not Raffi Devers' favorite guy to face. High fly, twisting. This is well hit. Deep into the corner, Ben Intendi will play it off the wall. So it's a Fenway double. Bradfield will certainly take it and quickly in a scoring position. There's Alex Verdugo. High fly ball. Center field. Hicks is there. And puts it around. They pitch around the double. Well, a nice hand for former Red Sox outfielder Andrew Benintendi as he came up to bat. And a nice video of his stay in Boston. Some huge plays. Playing on the board, and he'll hit a routine fly ball. Fan moving over. One man gone on one pitch. Here's a look at some of those accomplishments, including a world championship. Really was a good player, good solid player, number one draft choice, and came through. And now they have back to back hits and two men on again. Aaron Hicks now. And he struck him out. He continues to be a dominant force against that guy, Aaron Hicks. Back to the top of the order for DJ LeMayhew. And winds up with a ground ball here to Xander. Throws across. And, got him. and that retires the side. Two hits, two left. Now to the top of the third, one nothing Yanks. And Aaron Judge will lead it off. He walked his first time. Here is the 1-0. Swung on there, it goes deep left center field. It is high, it is far, it has gone out of the ballpark. Over the high wall, over the monster seats, out onto Lansdowne. There is his 100th RBI on his 46th home run. Aaron Judge, a Judgean blast on Lansdowne. All rise. Here comes the Judge. Here's Devers. Jumps on the first pitch and pops it up. It's coming back on Trevino, and he holds on to make the play. Oh, he had to dance around the pine tar rag and all the other accoutrements in the, in the uh, on deck circle, and somehow made the play. I have never played in another major league stadium where the ball, the foul territory, the wind, it affects the baseball where it, nothing's easy. It's the one-two. Struck him out swinging. So Domingo has a one, two, three at the end of three. Here comes the payoff pitch now to Alex, who's homered seven times. He'll smack that one toward the alley. He laid into that. Cut off by Judge. He wants two. Judge up and gunning to the back. Here's the tag. He's safe. Oh, he got in there. What a throw right on the money. Just got in. Nobody's complaining. I mean, what a throw by Judge there. And brings up JD singled in the second, one for one. And he's going up the middle. That's through for a base hit. Kind of flip with a dive and a miss. Here comes the run. And the Red Sox are on the scoreboard. JD Martinez, two for two. Once again, a breaking ball. And 
Here comes that man, Aaron Judge. He's done it again tonight, his 46th home run. Curvature put him away. Well, he's mixing it up nicely, you know. Slider turns into a curveball because it's more off speed and a perfect spot for it. Has him reaching for it. Now, one away, here's the right headed and catching catcher, Kevin Plowecki. And the pitch cut on a missed, and you made a pretty good point before. Avaldi's really been hit, and not tonight. He's been very good. Now, two away, here is Tommy Pham. Herman's 2 2. Struck him out swinging. Fourth strikeout for Mingo. So run on first base with Aaron Judge coming up. And Judge gets plumped. And the crowd boos. Rizzo tearing into a double in the first inning that drove in a run. Since then, he struck out and popped up. One two pitch. Got him. Yes, he did with a 96 mile an hour fastball. He popped the mitt. It's a big K there for Matt Barnes. Oh, that is huge. That is huge. Cross seam cheese. Now Donaldson. Good nasty hook. Ooh. Struck him out. Look at him. Feeling it. Do it, Barnes Eaton's well he should. Yes. Now two down here is Christian Arroyo, who is one for two. Swing and a miss. Strong inning for Scott Efros as he retires the Red Sox in order. One, two, three. Next up out of the bullpen is Araldis Chapman. First up, though, Bobby Dalbeck, pinch hitting for Jaron Duran. 2 2. Swing and a miss. He went with the splitter. A nasty one, too. I mean, after seeing nothing but hard fastballs, they get a split finger, the same arm speed, but then action down. 2 to Tommy Pham. Strike three. What an inning for Chapman. Absolutely dominating. He retires the Red Sox in order. 1 2 3 with two strikeouts. And this one punctuates the inning. It's Red Sox with runners at first and second. JD has already punched a couple through tonight. Pair of singles, one that drove in the only Red Sox run in the fourth inning. The set by Holmes in the pitch. Hit hard up the middle and a base hit in the center field. It's going to tie the game. Xander around to score. Verdugo to third. What a night for JD Martinez. Fenway Park going crazy. It's two to two. Well, Verdugo went to third, so first and third, one out. The one two pitch. Swing and a miss. Big strikeout for Peralta, two away. Well, two away. Here's right handed in Christian Arroyo. Line drive caught. They will see the 10th inning as IKF snares it and Peralta wiggles out of trouble. Labor Torres, two on, two out. One ball, two strikes, two out. Runners lead at second and third. Here's the pitch. And he ball tips it. Hell, strike three's out of there. All right, here's right hand hitting Tommy Pham with the winning run at third. The Yankees, they lead the majors with 12 walk-off wins. But if the Red Sox win here, it will be the Yankees' eighth walk-off loss, tying the Red Sox for the most in the major league. So they've had some heartbreak in what's been a really good season for them. Hit sharply past the diving Donaldson, and the Red Sox win three to two. The Yankees' nightmarish road trip continues as they lose the first game of this three-game set at Fenway by a score of three to two in ten innings.